Um, and so the uh, activities I'll talk about is development of country plans, where um, we've been trying to focus more effort uh, this past year. Uh, I'll just mention the meetings that we uh, see you all at many times a year. Uh, some laboratory information uh, from Michelle and Marianne and a recent response. Um, so the countries where we're trying to help develop um, national cholera control plans uh, include Kenya. And uh, you see some meetings uh, that uh, Joan Brunkard, who is in the picture, though I don't think you can see her at the very back, um, uh, has been uh, attending and has been doing. Um, so the first meeting in Kenya that uh, we participated in for cholera control plans was in July 2018. Uh, and since that time, from December to February, um, Joan Brunkard was in Kenya working with WHO, UNICEF, IFRC, and the CDC country office um, to help dig down deeper. Once there was agreement to do a national cholera plan, then the work begins. Um, and the good news is that this month, just recently only, uh, the Ministry of Health, which had convened that meeting and who had been our main partner, has uh, requested engagement from other ministries, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Water, et cetera. So we hope that there will be a multi-ministerial uh, meeting to um, discuss the plan as developed so far and to move it forward to adoption. And we hope then to continue working with them for implementation, any capacity building we can provide, and monitoring and evaluation. And it's more or less the same scheme for the next two countries, so Tanzania being one of them, where Joan Brunkert is now, with another uh, microbiologist from CDC and with an environmental microbiologist. Um, there, the activities began in August 2018 um, in Dodoma, the new capital where there was a multi-ministerial cholera workshop to develop a control plan. Um, she was there again in October, November to help with uh, the cholera planning efforts and also visited Zanzibar for a wash assessment. Um, where she, she was last week is Morogoro um, for uh, finalizing the control plan and the hot spots. Uh, and I think that has gone well. And uh, this week, the microbiologist and environmental microbiologist are visiting Tonga, where there's currently an outbreak of cholera, to provide some laboratory assessments and support. Um, we have um, also worked with other countries. Uh, Zambia is one of them. And we're very excited to see them here and to see how much progress they've made and, and uh, hoping to continue our relationship with Zambia as they implement the cholera plan. Uh, we've started meetings with Uganda, this was back in February, with the Ministry of Health, the WHO country office, to um, explain the process of developing a control plan and, and um, hope to continue working with them as well. Um, and these are the meetings and some of the names of some of the people who have been there um, and that we don't need to dwell on. Uh, this is a slide about some of the laboratory activities aside from our um, uh, activities with national cholera plans. So uh, the training and technical assistance uh, help developing standard uh, operation protocols and some uh, equipment and supplies have been provided. A lot of that work gets done through partnerships we have with the American Society of Microbiology, African Society of Laboratory Medicine, and the American Public Health Laboratory Association. Um, Marianne is uh, just getting ready to start a, a performance evaluation of five different RDTs uh, and looking for uh -oh, TPP. Uh, um, based on the criteria in the TPP. I don't remember what that stands for. I practice so hard. <laughs> product preference, target product, target product preference. There we go. Um, and then once we sort that out, I, I hope we can use that information to assist countries in using them and, and guidance, et cetera. Um, our environmental microbiologist has been working on guidance for environmental water testing, focusing on water testing for Vibrio cholera, um, and has uh, nearly completed a document 
uh, suggesting how that can be used, when, where, and what for, and why and how. Um, I, I think that may become more important at some point in elimination um, certifications, perhaps, or other things, uh, with whole genome sequencing as well. It would be nice to have environmental isolates to look at in terms of what, how they compare with what's circulating in the patient population. And last slide is just uh, the response in Mozambique and Malawi, where our emergency response and recovery branch, Tom Hansel, for those of you who know him, is with that branch. Um, they have, I think, four or five people on the ground now, have had for a couple of weeks in Mozambique, supporting surveillance, e-wars, and WASH. Um, and one person uh, working with the CDC country office in Malawi to uh, do assessments of the internally displaced person's camps and some disease investigation follow-up. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you.